Hi, this is Matt from Subco, and today we're going to be making some subsea cable. First, we need to make the large effective area of raw fibers. So, get yourself some high purity silica dioxide or silica and some germanium dioxide or germania. First, we need to build the optical fiber preform, as it's called. So, what you want to do is using your favorite vapor deposition technique, build up a layer of silica lightly dusted with germania to reach the target refractive index. To reach the target core thickness, you can move on to the cladding layer using just pure silica. Make sure your core to cladding ratio is about 2 to 25 so that when your final fibre is drawn it has the right proportions. Now your preform is ready, we're going to put it in the sintering oven in an inert atmosphere. So first we want to heat it to just over 1000 degrees for several hours to dehydrate it and then we'll raise the temperature to 1500 to 1800 degrees to form the final solid preform. So I hope your fibre drawing tower is ready to go. Place the fibre preform into the drawing tower Heat to 2000 degrees and draw the fiber into its final outer diameter of 125 micrometers. Allow the fiber to cool and then make sure you've topped up your coating applicator so that you can coat the fiber with acrylate to bring it up to its final outer dimension of 245 micrometers. Then we'll roll the fiber onto spools ready for cable manufacturing. All good subsea cable starts with a solid foundation of what's called lightweight cable. So first, you take your raw fibers, dye them to your system's coloring scheme and then you want to wrap those fibres in a protective tube using a good amount of thixotropic gel to cushion the fibres within the tube. So now we're going to take our tube with the fibres in it and we're going to wrap steel wires around it to form a solid pressure vessel. This is also providing the tensile strength for the cable, so make sure it's solid. And then we're going to get some copper tape, continuously seam weld it and form it around those wires in order to provide the electrical conduction for the cable. To complete our lightweight cable, we need to bond a good amount of polyethylene onto the copper tape to provide the insulation and abrasion resistance needed by the cable. So if your cable needs just a little extra protection in deep water, then you can build it up to what's called lightweight protected cable. So taking your lightweight cable base, add a layer of steel tape, and then an outer layer of black high density polyethylene. If the walls are shallower and the risk of damage is high, you might want to go to single or double armor cable by adding one or two outer layers of galvanized steel wire coated in tar with an outer layer of polypropylene yarn. The SMAP cable system only uses lightweight protected cable or better, making it the first fully armored long-haul submarine cable system in the world. 